I'm gonna go over what makes this bike, you know, just a standard, everyday, run-of-the-mill, same bike that you would just get anywhere online for a total rip-off. Obviously, I was joking. Everything about this bike is freaking awesome. Not a rip-off, super custom. Oh my gosh, I love this bike. I actually have never heard of this bike before. This is the Vitus. Never heard of this brand before. Well, I'm a huge fan of it. But yeah, these things, look at these tires. These are, how big are these? 27 and a half by 2.6. These are, these are the sweet spot. Look how knobby these things are. Super knobby. These are just, these are grip anywhere. These are awesome for single track, just good trail riding. And everything on it just feels super solid. The front short shocks are, are really nice. These are the Marzocchis, Marzocchis. I can never pronounce those. I always see them and I know I'm pronouncing them wrong. Um, but it's got the dropper seat post. It's got hydraulic disc brakes, the Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. So we added hydraulic disc brake sensors to it. It's got Shimano Dior shifters and derailleur. So super high-end stuff. Went with a 500C color display. BBS02 by Bafang, 750 watt motor, nominal. Pulls 25 amps and this is a 48 volt battery. You do the math, 48 times 25. Plenty of range on this. It's like 840 watt hours. So probably 30, 40 mile range, even more if you go less. Either go far or fast. So if you're not going fast, this will go far. We added a 36 tooth Lecky on here. And you can see, look at this giant low gear. This thing, I think this is a 50 tooth. So 36. To 50, I mean, this thing is, it's just an enormous hill climbing gear. But you still have your 11 here. This, this is the beauty of the mid drives. Because you go to this gear, it's it could be a wheelie machine if you wanted it to be. If you put this on highest pedal assist, obviously nobody really wants that. But what that means is this is going to be a hill climbing machine. But then you still have a usable top speed up here. You're going to be pedaling along up to about 28 miles an hour with that really small top speed. And that's probably fine for most people. So yeah, let's go do a giant nerd out performance test and see how this thing uh, performs. So you can see this thing hill climb, no problem. I wasn't even pedaling. That thing's like a 30% grade. I need to measure that grade so I know exactly what it is. And 34 miles an hour still with just the throttle without pedaling. This thing I've noticed is about 28 miles an hour though that you could pedal before you start looking like a cartoon character with this 36 to 11 gear ratio. So if you're, that's the best thing is figure out how fast you want to be riding while pedaling. If 28 is fine, go with the 36 tooth. I love this chain ring. With the O2, it does not have any offset though. So just be careful. This fortunately worked out where I'm still able to ride in this lowest gear without it popping off up here. I think it's because it has that thin, narrow, or fat, narrow tooth profile where it grabs onto the chain super well. Just an awesome bike. I would definitely put this on a short list of high-end bikes that you should be thinking about converting. You know, these are like the Trek Roscoe's. This is one of those where it's, look at these tires. I can't get over this. This is so freaking sweet. I just want to take this thing to Moab. Just see you later world. I'm going to Moab for the weekend. It was like a 74 millimeter bottom bracket. So we had to put some spacers in to knock it out so that the motor housing didn't hit the chain stay here. So we weren't able to put on the outer lock ring. So you could only put on the inner lock ring. All right, I think that's all I want to talk about today. I think I shared enough with you, with you strangers. No, not all of you guys are strangers. Anyways, see ya.